Hello, my friends. I'm Frankie. Welcome to Club Foodie. We all have a sweet tooth. To satisfy it, there are so many amazing recipes out there to choose from, like chocolate eclair, milfeuille, black forest cake, cacambouche, and so on. Today is Mardi Gras, and to highlight the event, I decided to not share the French version of the sweet treat, but the Creole style. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my New Orleans beignets. These fried donuts are so easy to make. Serve for breakfast, dessert, or as a snack. These little guys are a delicious treat. Sprinkled with powdered sugar, your sweet craving is sure to be fulfilled. So my friends, let's get cooking. We'll start by adding active dry yeast to the bowl of a stand mixer, along with a cup of lukewarm water and some honey. Yeast loves sugar. We'll give a quick stir and let it sit until the mixture is foamy and bubbly, about 15 minutes. Meanwhile, in a small bowl, we'll add an egg, then some evaporated milk and pure vanilla extract. We'll beat the ingredients very well and set aside. Now, in a bigger bowl, we'll combine three cups of flour, a little bit of ground cinnamon, as well as ground sea salt. We'll whisk until nicely blended and set aside as well. All right, back to the stand mixer. As you can see, the yeast is alive. So we'll pour in the egg mixture and using the paddle attachment, we'll process on medium high speed until well incorporated. Next, we'll add the flour mixture Add our room temperature butter, switch the attachment to the dough hook, and process on low speed until somewhat mixed. Then we'll increase to speed 3 and start using the reserve half a cup of flour by adding a tablespoon at a time until the dough clings around the hook. Now we'll increase to speed 4 and knead for 4 minutes. When time is up, we should have a nice elastic dough that doesn't stick to our fingers. And if it does slightly, it's fine. Like we always do after that, we'll pull the dough under, forming a ball before placing it in a large bowl slightly greased with grapeseed oil. We'll swirl the dough around to coat with oil, cover with a clean dish towel, and move it to a draft-free area such as an oven without the heat on. We'll let it rise for two hours or until it doubles in size. Look at this, perfect! So we'll punch the dough to deflate it and flip it on our work surface generously floured. We'll do like we did earlier by pulling the dough under, forming a ball, then we'll divide it by two using a bench scraper. I find it's the best tool for this job, but feel free to use what you prefer. From here, we'll form a ball with each half. Working with one at a time, we'll roll out the dough into a rectangle down to about a quarter inch thick. The dough will start to retract, so leave it alone and let the gluten relax for a minute or so. After mine is rolled out, you can see it's far from looking like a rectangle, but it's okay because I'm using a ruler and cut it out into one. By the way, we're not discarding the pieces that we've cut because we'll be reusing them to make more beignets. Now we'll cut the dough into two and a half inch squares. I prefer using a pastry cutter while others might use a bench scraper, pizza cutter, or even a knife. Your choice. We'll place the squares on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and set aside while we're working with the others. If you decide to freeze some, 
This is when you're doing it, by transferring the baking sheet to the freezer. I explain more about it and the thawing process on the blog, so check it out. When we have the amount needed, we'll move on to the stove. In a heavy bottom skillet, we'll add canola oil and bring the temperature to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. When it gets there, working in batches without crowding, we'll carefully add our dough. Now here's why 375 instead of 350 Fahrenheit. As soon as you add food to the hot oil, the temperature will drop drastically. So by bringing it up a little higher, you'll get the perfect cook. All right, so we'll fry them, and as soon as one side is golden and plump, we'll flip them. It goes pretty fast, maybe a minute or so per side. When they're done, we'll transfer them to a wire rack sitting on a baking sheet and set aside while working with the others. Now place them on paper towels because the bottom will get soggy. Now it's time to dust these hot little guys with confectioner's sugar. We'll take a paper bag, the same that our mothers placed our sandwiches and apples in when we were kids. I guess we used to call them lunch bags. And we'll add a few beignets to it. Don't overcrowd, because they won't coat properly. Then we'll add a good scoop of sugar, close the bag, and shake it until they are all well covered. And here's our little guys all nicely coated. And my friends, these are our New Orleans beignets. Light and fluffy, these little pillows are absolutely delightful. They're easy to make, plus you can freeze some to enjoy later. So indulge your taste buds with these puffy little donuts. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!